Oh my god, Nate, nothing happened. Nothing happened, did you? Well, that's not quite true. Something happened. Something happened. What uh, happened? Uh, you know, a good 23 minutes of my life uh, were lost to the abyss <laughs> that I will never get back. Did you? I want to fucking die. I want to fucking die. The fact that people watch this show every week, I get a little more fucking close to the edge with the idea that people like like this they are like so on board with this fucking shit it's not a joke you should feel bad if you like this show you should you are a bad person you are contributing to the downfall of society if you're encouraging this shit I, I, I feel bad watching. I feel bad watching it, and I'm trying to keep people away. I'm one of the guard dogs on the edge trying to keep the toxic waste <laughs> out from society, and even I feel bad for being at that level of involvement with this thing. Don't watch this show, please. It's too late for people who are already listening to this. God, this is, I'm so, I'm really livid about the fact that this show is popular right now. It doesn't fucking it, deserve it. It's really a shame that people. Who, the people who watch this show, mm -hmm. um, like to watch our podcast, have to watch it before the podcast because, yeah. like, look, I mean, fucking, we've warned you not to do that, mm -hmm. but like in this case, uh, I mean, I'm gonna tell you up front, we're not gonna have more than ten, twenty minutes to say about this episode, yeah, because nothing happened. <sighs> like, this is one of the worst episodes of anime I've ever watched. You know, in terms of the, the, being literally nothing. The the outstanding quality of this episode <laughs> is redundancy. Gotta love that yes. sweet redundancy in this episode. Really good stuff. Like the shit at the end, dude, where fucking like uh, uh, Mo Muramasa just goes over again. Like, I love you. Like, remember like five episodes when I said this bitch is done. There's nothing new about yeah. this character. She should just leave now, but she's still here. Why? Why is she still here? We there's there's nothing new about her. They're just bringing no. up the same shit. They're fucking dredging it up from the fucking abyss, putting it in front of us and saying, "Here's your new shit, guys." And I'm like, "No, I know you pulled out of a fucking shipwreck from five episodes ago. Throw it back, you cheap ass Jew nigger." That's me. Jesus Christ. I hated this episode so much. It's making me it was, racist. <laughs> I I watched this uh, with Endless Jess. Uh -huh. I happened to be at his house oh, right Oh, good. Now. And um, we were waiting for something, and I was like, let's just throw on the fucking Arrow manga. Mm -hmm. And, like, Jesse is not an – he's he's not a, like, harsh critic. Mm -hmm. Jesse generally likes most things. He can easily find something to like. And especially yeah. if you tell him it's, like, bad, he's going to, like, really want to find something good about it. Mm -hmm. And, like, within about three minutes of the episode, he was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, is this really what it is? And I was like, yeah, it's always like this. And he was like, oh, my God. Like, like <laughs> he was actually, like, incredulous that it was as bad as it was. And I was like, I mean, for what it's worth, this is the worst episode. But, like, yeah, yeah, man, it... It really is like that. Like this is, this was the bottom of the barrel, man. It really like, was. It really was. At no point a, did I even feel the spark of like rage-inducing life, yeah, or, or the spark yeah. of life-inducing rage. Yeah, at any point in this yeah. episode, except towards the end when I just I realized how much of my time had been wasted and how much they yeah. were just doing the same shit again. I mean, the previous episode mm -hmm. was about the first half was fucking around, yeah, and then the second half was this big emotional thing with we learn a lot about elf mm -hmm. and she confesses which makes sense because she hasn't done that yet sure like that sure. was something that like uh, if the point of this arc was get him on an island with where his sister's not there and the other two girls can spend time with him mm -hmm. that's clearly what they're going for so right, we have one right. episode for elf one episode for muramasa but elf hadn't already confessed whereas muramasa has mm -hmm. and has nothing new to add at all, she, she just, just does it again. again. She just does it again. The 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 only semblance of a and I'm using very large scare quotes on this mm -hmm. arc is that at some point she, out of fucking nowhere, says, "Oh, I'm I'm not writing anymore, dude." Um, that was I got amazing. It was amazing how they just like cut to commercial after that, and it's like hours yeah. later, and no one has like asked any questions about it until one dude got drunk enough to be like, "Oh, you know what? I should probably ask about that shit that happened before the commercial." In Astounding. Incidentally, uh -huh. no personality guy finally uh, emotes because he gets drunk. while drunk. Yep. 
But yep. his drunken personality is just the most generic idea of what a drunk person is. Plus, it's used know. just for exposition. You know, all he does yeah. is is push the plot Further forward the a situation. tiny bit. Yeah. yeah. Also, did you notice and when they were all sitting around typing, he had the world's smallest computer. I just thought that was so perfect. <laughs> it was just such a little baby person, like a, a little baby computer for a little baby character who's barely even there. You can't even see him down there. He's not even... He's like a libertarian government. You can't even see it. So small. My hero, yes, exactly. Uh, he, that, oh God, like this arc. I mean, she says, I'm not going to write anymore. Mm-hmm. And my first thought is, well, that'll be resolved by the end of the episode. Yeah. Like, I thought yeah. that immediately. And then as it's progressing, now, credit where it's due, mm-hmm. drunk guy accuses her of the same thing. Or, no, Elf, El- does. elf She's does. like, yeah, elf you'll does. be over that by tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And she's like, nuh-uh. And I was like, okay, they've called attention to it. Maybe they won't do it. And then they did it immediately. Immediately, um, yeah. Like, then, yeah. then they try to pass it off where she's like, oh, well, Elf was wrong. I, I did it even faster. So she was still wrong, you know. Uh. You know, I could, like, talk about, like, the tangible details of this episode, but they are not worth anyone's fucking time. There's nothing, dude. There's, like, they play the King's game. Wow. Uh, So sexy. They didn't even fucking do anything good. They just put Elf in her skanky-ass shitty swimsuit again. I don't even give a fuck about that. They, oh, oh, wow, more Masa's not wearing fucking underpants. I don't fucking care. God, shut up. Shut up, TV show. I hate you. I mean, the first, like, even before the King's Game part, like, it was literally nothing. The bed thing, like, like he wakes up or something. I don't, I don't know. There's, like, a good five minutes of this episode where it's, like, just really slow shots of the characters just, like, entering rooms. Yeah. Like, each of them comes down and they're like, hey, I'm here too. And they're like, yeah, we all sure are here. Dude, that opening, Uh, (laughs) that opening, like, minute and a half before the intro song or whatever, where he, he just is writing finishes writing, walks downstairs, sees Muramasa, smiles contentedly to himself, and then we cut to the fucking opening. We did it! What a fucking heart-pumping yeah. opening scene! Yes! I'm so excited for a new episode of Arrow Manga Sensei! Yes! This is what I'm excited for every week! This is good anime, right? This is what the industry fucking needs right now! Why do you people watch this show? Stop! Please! Stop watching it! Oh my god. It's not right. It's not right that this show gets viewers. It should have zero fucking viewers. We shouldn't be. We're bad people for watching this show. Don't be like us. Please. Please. This is my fucking desperation call. Don't even watch this fucking podcast. Just leave. Just leave. Run. Don't involve yourself anymore. I have seen... I have seen people who've told me, like, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I can't listen to your podcast anymore because yes. I can't watch this show anymore. Good. And I'm like, I can't even blame you, you know? <laughs> yes, that's the best. Those are the heroes. Those are the heroes out there. I wish them luck. I, I can't stress this <laughs> enough. Like, it, it, if it sounds – like, I have that weird niggling feeling where mm-hmm. I, I'm always like – if we summarize, like, oh, nothing happens, I feel like, no, but we have to go through it. But, no, literally nothing, nothing happens. happens. There's a good – that, like you said, they play the Kings game. That happens, like, probably seven minutes in, mm-hmm. and those first seven minutes are not anything. There's no content. Nope. And then they, they play the Kings game. Um, It's stupid. It's just a fan service scene, and it goes on forever. And then, like, 13 minutes into the episode, Muramasa says, I'm not writing anymore. Mm. And that's where, like, the the story kicks in. I guess so, But then yeah. it's, <laughs> it's just, like, uh, like, what this amounts to is a scene where uh, what's-his-fuck <laughs> sits down with her and is like, hey, um, you know, I've been getting these fan letters all this time mm-hmm. that are these exquisitely written fan letters. Uh, by the way, I can tell it's you who's writing them, you dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, you should write more. And she's like, okay. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I did have one funny social faux pas to point out about that that did make me laugh at the sheer incompetence of all the characters involved. And it was that, uh, so so this girl, right, so she st- decides to stop writing because like she's like, why would I write? Like, this guy is so good. I just want to read his work. That's what I'm all about. I'm done writing. I don't need that anymore. I'm just happy reading this guy's shit, which A, a is retarded because like, who knows how long it's going to take this fucking idiot to write more shit. But, um, yeah. but like, so what he does, like, he's like, okay, so he's trying to convince her to, like, keep writing. Obviously, that's what the scene's going to be. So what he does is he brings out a fan letter from her about how amazing he is. Like, like you think yeah. this would be a pep talk? Like, no, look at all the fan letters you've got. Like, I thought he was going to be like, uh, look, 
uh, all these people love your work. I hope like you should keep writing for them. And like he sort of gets around to that. But I thought he, he was going to say, I love your work. Yeah, you that, know? I that he was too. Like, I want you to write for me. But the you way know? he gets to that point is just to say, yeah, you fucking love me so much. I am so good. Also, I guess you should keep writing. Like that's <laughs> he did not. He failed completely to make that point. And yet they act like he, he delivered something meaningful. And I was like, what is hey. happening? Jesse. I hate this show too. I thank you, Jesse. <laughs> I appreciate that contribution. <laughs> he gets it. This guy gets it. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he gets to the end. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The conflict's resolved. What yep. if you could call it that? Um. She's like, I'm gonna win your heart, and then they do another ending theme where it's the character. Like three three shots of the character. The and second shot is horrible. This, I'm looking this, at it right now. The first one was okay. She's like blushing. Uh, you know what? Yeah, like her tits are framed like horribly. They, it's like, and I, it looks. Jesse said it looked like she'd been cut in half, and her front half was falling away from her bottom half. Okay, sure, I see that. I see with a weird ass. The third out to the shot left. though is mm -hmm. actually great and will be the thumbnail of this video. I took some screen caps, thinking that that might yeah, be. Yeah, go ahead and send me that one. Uh, I will. That third, I will. That third the pick. fucking credits are kind of in the way in a weird way, but I'll, I'll send you what I got. I don't care. Yeah, the third one. That third one's fucking dope. Uh, yeah, she's hot. You know, she's legitimately hot i would uh, have sex with when that woman they decide to actually draw her as opposed to just like yeah shitting her onto the fucking animation frames and you know just the last i just want to re repeat again like the fact that they end this episode like it, it ends with her saying like my new dream is i'm gonna make you fall in love with me like this is news like this is like i thought that's surprising. what she was doing already yeah i, I know i know we all knew this we all knew this shit was happening already and they're acting like they're giving us new information i'm just like is that it i mean is this all it? the other characters say in the episode like yeah we can all tell like this is a show yeah. by the way this is a show where everybody has the social acumen to read someone's book and immediately know like all their feelings and who they're in love with yeah and yet yeah. and yet the main character can't tell that arrow manga is in love with it ah uh, you're right ah uh, you're right about that didn't think of that one yeah yeah it's yeah. fair man it's fair <laughs> Uh, I guess it's autism. Uh, this is the worst show I've ever seen. It's so. uh, yeah, it's this is garbage. This is uh, a huge waste of my life. Uh, hey. Guys, Jesse, what's up? Baby Groot. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't Baby Groot in this episode? God damn it! We were promised him last week. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, you know what? That's that's Jesse's Baby Groot impression. <laughs> baby Groot. He says Baby Groot. <laughs> um. Uh, by the way, not I am Groot, but Baby <laughs> Groot. Baby Groot. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There's there's my guy. Um it is it is 1:30 a.m. Okay, I was yeah. up. I was working at my job until about 11:30 at night. I come home to record this fucking to watch this episode and record this thing. And thank God I have an outlet. Like like bitching about yeah. it to you folks here on the internet and Digi of course and Jesse and Baby Groot in the audience back there. Thank God for that. <laughs> Uh, cause otherwise I would kill myself cause this is a nightmare. This, the, you know, I, I can survive watching this show. What makes me really want to die is how fucking popular it is. This is what, 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 like, where are we going? Where are we going as a species? If like, this is where our priorities lie. This is a fucking waste of everyone's time. If you just want hot sluts. There's a thousand better shows with better hot sluts in it. These are garbage sluts. These are people deciding, you know what? I just feel like wasting my life for some time. I feel like throwing away some of the precious time I have on the fucking planet Earth on just like the closest thing to me. Oh, this is popular. I'll click on fucking Aramaga Sensei this, this week and watch it for a fucking three months or whatever. Don't we can't we can't give in people our fucking future of our race of our species depends on not fucking watching this piece of shit show Please don't do it. Don't buy merch. Don't buy the fucking blu-rays Don't don't go to Crunchyroll and watch if you gotta watch it to watch this podcast at least torrent No, don't torrent it because that'll just encourage them to do more. I don't know. Don't just don't just don't do anything Stay away from don't watch manga it at all. It, it won't help you to appreciate the podcast. Yeah, that's right just watch look if you want to watch Arrow Manga Sensei, mm -hmm. look at one picture of it and and then imagine what and, is the worst and anime. And luckily, this and podcast supplies exactly one image every 
every week. So that's all you yeah. need. You're, you're Look at set. that picture and then say, let me imagine the worst <laughs> context this could be in. And you will have written the show in your own mind. And you know what? Like, there, There's one other moment that stands out to me in this episode. And it was just, there's a moment at the end, like during the end scene where she's like, you know, coming up with her dream. And she's just like, so it's a, sh- a shot where like they're they're kind of. The, the, it's both, you know, Muramasa and Masamune are kind of far back in the frame. They're kind of far apart from each other. So the camera's a little far out, so, like, the characters are low, lowly detailed. And, like, it's just a shot of, of uh, Muramasa turned to the camera, and, like, you can hear the voice actress doing this big boom, like, ah, ha, 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 Oh, yeah, And her I know what face you're doesn't about. fucking move. Like, it's got, like, two frames of yeah. animation. It made me I want made to die. It made me want to die. It was a nightmare. Uh, okay, okay. And that's it. These are my thoughts about the show. Uh, yeah. I want to die. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't watch this show no, ever wait. again. I changed my mind. It's just I want to let us describe it to you. That's right. I, I want to live to be to. I have to be the vanguard. I have to be the vanguard yeah. against this. This show is giving show. you purpose. That's right. It <laughs> might be the greatest show I've ever seen because it makes me want to live and fight yeah. against it more than any other show in the history of the world. So there you go. Ten out of ten. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks See for you listening, next everybody. Week. <laughs> Bye-bye. Sick nasty farts. <laughs>